Plunges. Yeah, or Prost. Prost. Yeah. yeah. Started back in uh, 1987. I was finishing up grad school in Germany, studying brewing engineering at the Technical University of Munich, and uh, wrote a business plan and actually bought brewing machinery with all of our wedding money. And that's the original machinery that went into the Gordon Beersh in Palo Alto, California. And after that, I met Dean Beersh, and he had the restaurant background, and I had the, the brewing and the food background. And, my forces and opened up in uh, July of 1988 Palo Alto. Here's the story behind the garlic fries. It was, uh, it was uh, the only American at the camp on the campus at the Technical University of Munich, and the uh, I get asked, asked frequently to translate for professors. And then one day the uh, garlic professor asked me to translate all day long for 10 hours of simultaneous translation about garlic, botany. At the end of the day, we had about 19 dishes all incorporating garlic. They're pulling them out in the field, pulling out bulbs of garlic, chomping on them raw and all that. I go, this is kind of cool. And uh, I used to make french fries uh, as a binge snacking thing uh, late at night when I was studying. And the one dish they didn't make was with garlic french fries. And I said, oh, I, I've been out in the field with garlic all, all this week. You know, i got to try it. So I, I, I came up with a concoction, and, and it was the first thing on, on our menu um, that took off like crazy. This is called a Willie Becker. And it's uh, the, the, the variant standard. It's a half liter. So you look at the side of the glass as a calibration mark. So all of our, our bartenders instruct to make sure they have a, a crowning head of foam from this point on. One of the reasons to actually brew by the purity law is it makes really good beer. We're only going to use four basic ingredients in making beer, which is water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Beer is a fermented beverage. Okay? You're talking about the fermentation, you're talking about yeast. Yeast eating sugar. And the byproduct of that is the production of alcohol and CO2. I have to brew the beer first to make the sweet liquid that I can feed to the yeast. So we start with the water and our malted barley. The cork goes up here, runs through a mill, and I crack the kernels open uh, so I can get the starch and the stuff that's in the kernel and the grain out into the water. So this mixes together in here, and that's called a mash. I hold it in here uh, at warm temperatures for a couple hours until all that starch is broken down into sugar. We pump it through the plate heat exchanger, and this cools it down. These fermentation vessels are all temperature controlled, and these are all actually in primary fermentation, so bubbling out CO2. When the primary fermentation is over, then we will cool, this, cool the beer down right in these tanks, and it'll be aged right in the same tank. So these are pretty much giant kegs of beer. All right, um, here I call these my serving vessels, because we're actually serving the beer directly from these vessels. So these lines that you see, Run underneath the restaurant and come up at the bar. Yeah. So you order Schwartz, it's coming right out of here. 